Hello, uh, name is LP. I'm record this video for uh, for anyone like to install and run the sample domain test uh, DNS on your Linux 6 6.0. So for this example, I will run the sample test uh, dot com and then I will pin to the IP address. Actually, this is my Linux machine as well, and I do this purely on from virtual environment. Okay, so firstly, I check whether the bytes and the bytes have installed, or and then start them. Okay, and then from here, I got my Linux already there, so I got go to checking yum and checking uh, list list by install already or not. If it's not, then I just install them. At the moment, it's not installed, right? So I do install. So that's done. Now I should start the service and name and start them. You should do chk config uh, name is on, and then next time you put up the system, it will it will run by default. Okay, so next step will be um, copy the record name. So I do the sample one. So copy the record name, right? So I'm got to do my copy the record name. So first I got to work on, uh, um, I have some, buy it come with some symbol already. So all you need to do is just copy the record name. So I do some less here, uh, then name dot uh, uh, if, and then they default there. So basically I copy the record here copy the record and copy them and then get out here sorry and modify the name modify the etc's name file and then I paste it before I'm good I'll come back that later paste it in here and now my one is will be test right I don't do this is a default only. So test.com. And then the file name will be the same, will be test.com. All right, before you save this file, you should go to um, uh, go to the top one, modify this one, because otherwise it's only listen on the local only. You should change this local to anywhere can access to this port, right? Any and the query can be queried from any. So basically, the UDP to access in here or TCP it doesn't matter which one, but from any. So that's it for my default. So you can check this again test.com and that's the format. Sibo, save them. Okay, next one will be going to work on the copy that file. So I just done that. I just done that. Of course, enable permission as well. And uh, enable permission access permission from UDP PB3 from any. Okay, now I'm going to create this file, and this file had got to be in here, alright, so and change permission. Alright, so next one, I'm going to etc, and then name, go out there, check it out what I got. I'm going to copy this sample file, right, so cp then name dot local to test.com, okay. And then I modify that file test.com I keep remain what it is and then this part I just hit to do couple file delete that part do the um, test.com dot sorry you got to do it ns1 authorized one dot and then next one would be uh, host master dot test dot com and dot make sure there's a dot right you miss out this dot you go on that dot 
and the dots over here all right so that's look all right now you're going to down here just empty them right empty you don't need this file so basically you got to do is first record will be tap to tap there sn then sn then go on to for sn one dot test dot com and then do a dot there and you got this one is next one to next record would be sn1 and then point to the record would be in and then go for a and then go for uh, the ip address which is i have here is my ip address there i just copy that over okay and then i make a simple web system a web server and I do SN and then this A into the IP as well. Okay, so now as example, I do W and then RN and then C name. Further information you can find from the web. So I do web.test.com and then of course dog there, there. So what I have here is the uh, NS1 and the web just uh, represent the name and then the web point there or you can just run web it go all the way and now I have a better name so www.test.com it will point to this in the colonial uh, colonial name there all right now uh, wish me luck I'm um, save them and then I just get out there and then moving on so now what I'm going to do next is uh, check it out what I have here um the name so now i'm going to do a test.com so next one will be change permission right so i just done that bit and now i change permission to the group if not change this one not going to be readable so now i'm going to do uh, change the group uh, name to which one test right uh, service name and then reload again okay done uh, the next part you need to consider that because my virtual machine I have a resource issue so I have to do the resolve file I had to change this part so I minimize this part and minimize that part here but I copy that file first and I change this one to my server my server is not that would be 167 okay so I'm save that file and then do this again now now all you got to do is pin uh, www.test.com there we go just work right away bingo so best of luck people and bye for now